Hey guys, Knights here, how's everyone doing? So if you did not live under the rock the past few days, you guys know that few days ago hit the gaming world an earthquake of the highest magnitude. I'm talking about the release of the game God of War. The reviewers, one after another, are praising this game and God of War is getting the highest scores possible. On Metacritics, the last time I've checked, the game has score of 95. When we consider that the gaming god itself, the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, has only 94. As a gaming journalist, I cannot overlook this game. I don't play console games, but on multi-gaming channel like this one, I have to bring you at least a short look on the game and help you decide if you should spend your hard-earned cash for this new PS4 exclusive. Before we start, I want to thank you guys for the participation on the last giveaway. All the winners already contacted me, uh, Nathan is already playing his new game, uh, Way Out and the other two are still deciding which game they want me to buy them. If you want to win a free game, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss an opportunity to win a free game. YouTube is currently reviewing my channel, so uh, soon my videos will be monetized. i am already ordered the new sound recording device and new mic, so you can expect better sound in future videos. Don't forget to leave a like if you like this video or dislike if you think you can do better. First, I want to definitely state that this video is not a review. This is my opinion of the game based on many reviews and gameplays I've seen in the past few days. This footage is provided to me by my all-time subscriber and the best supporter of my channel, Metin Ozen, and I thank him very much for the, for the footage this way. So me and Metin, we were talking the whole week on my Discord server, where by the way you are all welcomed, the link is in the description. So we were talking how overhyped uh, he is for this game and since he plays a lot of PS4 games, he decided to buy God of War. Metin was, talk uh, was uh, telling me the whole week how good the game is and how good the story, how immersive the world and how good and addictive the combat is. So as a gaming journalist, I checked all the reviews and gameplays and made a small inside look for you that maybe help you to decide if you want to buy this game. Before I've seen the footage from Metin, I was skeptic because all those reviews were from YouTubers who have tendency, how to put it delicately, slightly oversell the games and the footage in those reviews was always so fabricated. I needed footage uh, of the whole fight with the sounds and all the action from the normal casual gamer. As you see guys, the game looks absolutely fantastic. I'm simply speechless, the artwork, the skyboxes, uh, the effects are simply the best you can find on console right now. And even when I'm very skeptical against console graphics, I have to say that this game looks really really good. The footage is from PS4 Pro, so the game runs smoothly on 60 frames. I've heard a lot about how immersive the game is and how atmospheric the open world is. I don't blame them. I can clearly see that the open world with this graphic, immersion and this sound must be so atmospheric that in a small corner of my soul I wish for the PC port. I did play the old Gold of Wars on PS2 back in the days when I was young and I on the PSP and uh, the games were a blast. But I hated one thing, the fact that the game many times plays itself. Many times the game takes control of you and makes these prompt action finishers I really don't like it, but I'm PC gamer, I don't judge if you, if you guys, console players, like it. 
it's okay, I just like to finish the boss by myself, not by the cutscene. I've heard that the story is simply great and well written, and then you can easily spend 25 or 35 hours on average in the game. But since the game is open world, I can imagine how easily I would spend 60 hours playing it. The core of the modern games is the combat. As you guys see from the footage, the combat is simply awesome, very fluid, tactical and unforgiving. As you see, the enemies hit hard and you have to be on your toes if you want to defeat even the basic opponent. Hand in hand with combat goes the character progression. I don't want to spoil anything, but the character progression is deep and you can customize your god to fit exactly your playstyle. Long story short guys, I'm really glad that in the gaming industry, where in these days rules money, microtransactions and greedy publishers, time from time emerges a studio that provides full finished game, uh, which when you buy, you can experience the whole content of the game without any need of buying DLC or without months of patching the basic unplayable game. Thank you very much Santa Monica Studio and thank you Sony that you gave us hope in these dark days. Nothing is lost guys, the single game experience is safe. I will leave the rest of you guys, watch the rest of the footage and leave me the comment. What do you think about God of War? Will you buy it? Will you give it a shot? Give this video a thumbs up if you think it was helpful or thumbs down if you think you can do better. Don't forget to subscribe for the next giveaway and hit the bell button so you don't miss the opportunity to win a free game. And as and always, have a good one. Bye bye.
Von hinten! 